Hello, good afternoon. Now we will discuss about complications and management of hyponatremia. Complications of hyponatremia are due to increased intracellular fluid collection in the brain. This is due to decreased osmolality of intravascular fluid in the brain, which leads to cerebral edema, herniation, seizures and finally coma. The management of hyponatremia is mainly divided uh, according to hypervolemic hyponatremia or hypovolemic hyponatremia. Hypervolemic hyponatremia is difficult to treat. Example of that is SIADH, syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion. Here both water and sodium restriction to be done. Sodium should be restricted though there is hyponatremia. Conditions in which there is SIADH Two-third maintenance, two-third maintenance fluid should be given. Diuretics may be helpful in such type of hyponatremia. Tolvapton, which a new drug which opposes the action of antidiuretic hormone, can be effective. Next, if we come to management of hypovolemic hyponatremia, we should replace the both sodium and water deficit. Sodium deficit can be calculated by the formula. 0.6 multiplied by body weight multiplied by target sodium minus current sodium. Target sodium should be around 130 milli equivalents per liter and current sodium is the current pa recorded patient sodium levels. Uh, this, this calculated deficit should be given in first half should be given over 8 hours and next half should be given over 16 hours. So total should be given over 24 hours, not less than that. Along with that, sodium deficit, water deficit and potassium deficit should also be replaced along with maintenance fluid and electrolyte replacement. Then if you have the patient with acute symptomatic hyponatremia with complications like seizures, we should always give the bolus or treatment first with 3% NS. 4 to 5 ml per kg of 3% NS. Up to 10 ml per kg can be given slowly if the seizures are not subsided. To be given over half an hour to 1 hour duration slowly should not be given rapidly. After the bolus correction uh, and in both hypervolemic or hypovolemic, after the symptomatic correction by bolus, we should correct the remaining sodium correction. Uh, should not be rapid it should not cross uh, the correction should not cross 12 milli equivalents per liter per day so the we should always check the levels of the patient sodium it should not increase more than 12 milli equivalents per liter per day or not more than 0.5 milli equivalents per hour so this should be target because if you correct the sodium rapidly this leads to central pontine hemolysis this is the dreadful complication patient may go into coma because of rapid correction of sodium this is uh, more often seen in chronic hyponatremia so in chronic hyponatremia we should be more careful and uh, we should correct more slowly so this is mainly due to rapid shrinkage of uh, cells in the brain due to intravascular fluid shift because the osmolality in the intravascular compartment increases, the fluid from the intracellular compartment rapidly shift to the intravascular compartment if you correct the sodium very rapidly. This leads to central pontine hemolysis and brain hemorrhage. So always uh, should not correct sodium uh, levels more than 12 milli equivalents per liter per day or 0.5 milli equivalents per liter uh, per hour. And the detailed uh, descri uh, description of the management of hypovolemic hyponatremia you can uh, see in the next topic of dehydration where I will discuss about management of hyponatremic dehydration. Here I have given a brief idea. Thank you for watching with the video. If you like it, please press the like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.